Hey YouTube, Moose Cow here, continuing Operation Ice Cream with a recap of round four. Here's what we got in the Boneyard dish. Decent, decent little pile of dead dudes. British Losser Carrier. You know, mostly infantry. So not super eventful, but you know how these games are. It, it uh, builds up to something splendid that lives up to the name of Bloodbath. Anyway, as you can see, we got a lot of action going on, building up in the uh, Pacific and in India, uh, right here. But I'll come back to that in, in uh, the proper turn order. So, first things first, Germany didn't move into Bryansk. Uh, Germany attacked Ukraine with like two infantry, two artillery. Germany attacked Archangel and uh, attacked Belarus and also walked into Baltic states. Um, I forget if I covered this before when Germany took over Port... No, no Germany did take over Portugal this turn. That, that did happen this turn. Okay. Yeah, so Germany took out Portugal. Um, and uh, let's see, right here, when he took out Archangel, um, uh, that there was one Soviet unit here and it gave him a beating. <laughs> He went in with four infantry and he got whittled down to one. And then over here, um, Hammer Time had me at, with two infantry initially, but I actually had three. Uh, on his first round with uh, however many infantry it was, uh, uh, he got three hits, oh, sorry, two hits against me. And then on my turn, I had to finish out the combat and I actually whittled him down significantly. So he went from, he thought he had six infantry, now he has three infantry here in Belarus. And, uh, yeah, he built up and bulked up in, oh, it's way over here. He bulked up in uh, western Ukraine. Get this over here. Get the resource back where it belongs. Okay, so all this is in western Ukraine. Pretty nasty. And then uh, all of this is in Moscow, and all of this is in Tambov. Anyway, uh, so yeah, he's bulking up here. He went down here to infantry, to artillery. Uh, and then he moved his navy to 105, built up in Paris, Western Germany. Again, he's building his bombers. And Germany, um, at the beginning of the round, he revealed that he has heavy bombers. Russia revealed that they have advanced artillery or self-propelled artillery. And UK, uh, Italy took out the Yugoslavian force that went into Romania. And uh, Hammer Time didn't roll for his AAA at, at um, one because he didn't know he, he had his tech. Hammer Time actually thought that uh, Madman had uh, uh, improved transports because of the mishap up here. Madman also forgot to take the uh, artillery off. So that is in Egypt. There was just a AAA and infantry there. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. I, I just woke up a little bit, bit ago w working real late last night. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, so Mad, Mad Man and Hammer Time sorted that out, and Ma Hammer Time rolled some dice over the phone and still didn't get with twos and still didn't get hits. Anyway, that, that's where we go. That's where we're at. Um, moved the transport over there, built this, uh, these guys in Berlin. So that about covers Germany. Um, Russia took Archangel back, got the lend lease back. I lost an artillery in the process, but I got another artillery to make up for it, so it's a wash. Um, oh yeah, and Germany bombed the heck out of uh, Moscow. I got 28 damage. I used my blacks as fives, my oranges as, or sorry, oranges as threes and yellows as ones. So Moscow is almost at the max, by the way. For my, my little personal reference, uh, this is my um, uh, strategic bombing uh, reference card. <laughs> I uh, just printed this out from the manual, double-sided it, and laminated it, and it just sticks in my little box with my uh, damage markers, my damage uh, chips. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, that happened. Russia, he didn't take Briance, so Russia moved four guys into Bryansk to fortify, took the guy from Bryansk and the guy from Rostov 
and one art self-propelled artillery and attacked Ukraine along with the Air Force. So I knocked out the two artillery and two infantry. I lost one infantry in, re in, in return. Moved guys to uh, Rostov, built in Tambov, moved my Stalingrad factory to Samara. I built an artillery, built three artillery in Vologda, moved all my most of my, yeah, no, all my fast movers from Tambov to Moscow. So we got all this here, so Smolensk is open. Um, Russia, as Japan has just, you know, left it open and made it look real tempting. So I went one infantry into Korea and everything else into Manchuria. So, and then this guy moved down here. So the, so that means Mongolia is now neutralized since I violated the Mongolian rule. So Mongolia is just a neutral, no biggie there. Not going to get involved in the game now. Um, and, uh, yeah, that about covers it for Russia. Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna, undoubtedly, he's gonna bomb the rest of my factories, but hey, you know what? I got tricks up my sleeve. I got, I got plans. <laughs> Come at me, hammer time, you know. <clears throat> All right. He wants more hammers for his collection, you know. I got the sickle and hammer, he wants my hammer. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So Japan... With all this attention on Germany over here, Japan has just consolidated, moved their navy completely to the Philippines, and went all in on Yunnan and a bit of Shan State. So all of all of this is in Yunnan. And then where's my oh yeah, all of this, not a lot, but it was enough to put on a card uh, on a um, task force marker, is in Hope. We got a bunch of stuff in Hong Kong. And that about does it. So China backed up to Sikang. The British AAA here followed suit. So all of this is in Sikang. Walked into Kwai Chow and Shahar. Um, Flying Tiger still alive. China built a few. Now that Manchuria is liberated, China built three infantry there. Um, US sent a few dudes to India from Cairo. And uh, the Navy is in 54, obviously with this being in range, just psh, we're doing this game, we're doing this classic dance. So that is right here. Carrier came down, there was a destroyer there already, so it's bulked up a little bit, but not super significantly, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. NUS is clearly preparing for a D-Day over here of some kind. Built another battleship. Moved up to 106. As you can see, the um, UK moved in and Commonwealth built transports. So we got this whole thing going on. Um, and then, let's see, continuing with UK. Um, built three subs here, moved the Navy up. Uh, that Navy there merged up there. Built a bunch of stuff in India. Um, there were. No battles by India, oh, sorry, by UK this round, other than, oh, sorry, so right here he moved, he attacked the infantry with a fighter tactical and an infantry and managed to take Burma back. So that's really good. And uh, keeping the Japanese at bay so they can't land their air force there. And then um, Eastern Iran, I think stayed put, and uh, more guys being built in Iran. All right, I think that bomber just stayed, yeah, that bomber stayed there. Um, and then he consolidated in Egypt, moved, moved these guys up, and, uh, oh yeah, tactical flew to British Guiana. So that happened uh, as Germany got really close to activating Argentina. They got up to 52 before Russia knocked them down again. Um, so they got to get to 53 to activate Argentina, and then 56 will make Chile, Chile pro-axis. Um, victory point wise, they are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 victory points right now. Berlin, to Tokyo, Rome, Warsaw, Shanghai, Paris, Manila, Hong Kong, Leningrad, and South Asia. Uh, I do not believe they have any more, but yeah, most of them are victory cities currently. Um, if they get, they're close to getting oil, they gotta get, they gotta nab one more oil. Um, and they don't have resources. Yeah, they don't have resources. Allies have four of the five. Um, and yeah, that about does it for that. 
Italy uh, bulked up. Oh yeah, Germany also took out, sorry, backing up. Germany took out the carrier and uh, destroyer here with their air force and a sub, lost the sub. Um, and yeah, uh, Gibraltar is bulking up by Italy, bulked up by Italy. Mainland Spain is just wide open. Um, and then he attacked and killed the British units in Romania. Left Yugoslavia, so I'm assuming this tank is going to just come down here and grab that. Uh, left Yugoslavia open, it's built up here. Railed units to from north to uh, Berlin, and uh, oh no, those guys moved from Greater Southern. He put in Greater Southern. They went up to Berlin. He railed units to Eastern Poland, where he sent one of his bombers, and he sent a fighter. Uh, side note: the in my last recap, I accidentally had two Italian bombers. Uh, one was in Gibraltar and one was in Rome. They were both in Rome. He did correct me on that in his in the description of the video. Anyway, he then flew a fighter from the Romania battle to Western Ukraine, and uh, that about summarizes Italy. Oh, one dude went over to uh, Vichy, but that about summarizes Italy. Um, Commonwealth, like I said, built the two transports over here, backed its navy up here, moved stuff up to Queensland. Flew guys from South Africa to India and uh, moved up to Egypt as well. And then the Frenchies in Morocco moved over to Algeria. Destroyer moved up. Um, so that about covers it for round four. Yeah, so this game is looking very spicy now. Um, it's my first time doing a YouTube war with Germany, not with Germany, um, with uh, Russia and uh, United States. I don't think I'm doing too bad, but um, I don't know, it's gonna, gonna be a very important, um, uh, inf informative lesson to see how this pans out, you know. Norm you know normally, the US put so much, has to put so much pressure on Japan. Now we're going, we're going putting a lot of pressure on Germany over here um, so just cool to see how it pans out it's cool to see how a G1 against Russia can pan out um, it's not it's he's he's I think he's struggling a little bit little bit but uh, I am as well so it's still very neck and neck there um, let's see yeah that about, about covers it um, Calcutta isn't guaranteed but also looking neck and neck despite all the focus and attention here um and uh yeah anyway great playing with these guys we're already discussing possibly doing a trilogy doing another operation ice uh to this as well <laughs> so so we went, went from um was operation iceberg to operation ice cream talk about doing an operation ice cube <laughs> so anyway that's all for now signing off i gotta he's or hammer time is all he's you know hammering away so uh he's already done he's already done germany round five so i gotta watch that catch up and knock out russia today so we i'm not used to doing a, a youtube war this fast this fast paced it is pretty cool actually but at the same time it's hard juggling with work you know anyway so that's all for now let's hope we can keep it up and i can continue to the roll of dice better <laughs> if i have been <laughs>